Welcome to Hari Sabis, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into newest tech products. Today, we are taking a look at whether you should buy the GTX 1080 Ti or you should wait for the GTX 1180 or AMD Navi or other things like that. But before we delve into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to stay updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So if you guys haven't noticed already, a lot of GPUs across the board are starting to hit MSRP. For example, the EVGA GTX 1080 is actually going for $550 right now, which is actually $50 less than MSRP. And this is actually true with other GPUs as well. For example, the GTX 1080 Ti, while it hasn't hit MSRP yet, it's only $30 off at $730, which is much better than the $300 or $400 that was over MSRP just a couple of months ago. Even the RX 580 series is now in the 200s. So as you guys can see, GPU pricing is getting much better. But should you buy one, especially with how close the 1100 series is from Nvidia? Well, first of all, I think we should take a look at the expected performance of the 1100 series. Because if the performance isn't that good in the first place, then there really is no point in waiting for it. So recently there was this leak on tech power up about the specs of the GTX 1180. Now I know that there was a lot of controversy about the numbers and how they're not accurate. However, I think this is a good base and it's probably a good estimate of what the GTX 1180 will actually be like. So according to this leak, the GTX 1180 should have 3584 CUDA cores, 224 TMUs, and it should be on the 12 nanometer process and consume more or less 200 watts. If that didn't strike you as familiar, well then that's actually the almost the exact same numbers as the GTX 1080 Ti. The GTX 1080 Ti also has 3584 CUDA cores and 224 TMUs. However, the GTX 1080 Ti is on the 16 nanometer process and it consumes 250 watts. Also, it has GDDR5X memory instead of the GDDR6 memory that is expected for the GTX 1180. So on paper, the GTX 1180 is pretty much identical with the GTX 1080 Ti. However, it is a bit more efficient and it's on a 12 nanometer process and it should have GDDR6 memory. So those little aspects should give it a little performance edge over the GTX 1080 Ti, but not too big. So that's cool and all, but how will the other 1100 series cards perform? Well, last generation, each card improved its predecessor by about two levels. So for example, the 1060 was on par with the 980, and the 1070 was pretty much equal with the 980 Ti. Unfortunately, this generation, the generational gap doesn't seem to be as big as last time. However, it would still be very significant. For example, with the leak that we had, the 1180 should be on par or a little bit better than the GTX 1080 Ti. So from that, we can assume that the GTX 1170 will just barely be better or on par with the 1080 and so on and so forth. On top of this, all the GTX 1100 series cards should have GDDR6 memory and be on the 12 nanometer process, so that's a bonus as well. Next, what about price? Well, in my opinion, since the GPU pricing situation has pretty much leveled out and it's almost back to where it was, I think these new cards will pretty much release the same MSRP as their predecessor. So I think the GTX 1180 will release for the same MSRP of $700 as the GTX 1080. And as a result, the GTX 1160 6GB card should be $250 and so on and so forth. So that's pretty good. For the same price, you're pretty much getting an extra level of GPU performance. But when exactly are these cards coming out? Well, originally these cards were expected and they are still by a lot of people expected to come out in August. However, Nvidia doesn't seem to be dropping any hints about this and they don't seem to be bringing out any news at Computex either. So that may not be true. However, at the same time, it has been over two years since the 10 series cards came out. And on top of this, SK Hynix is going to be starting their GDDR6 memory production very soon. So as a result, I do predict that the GTX 1100 series will come out by the end of this year, but maybe not in August. 
I would say maybe in September or October at the very latest, if not August, because I doubt Nvidia would want to miss out on the holiday season of 2018. As for the release schedule, I'm pretty sure that Nvidia will stagger their releases once again. So we can expect the GTX 1180 and 1170 to come out in August through October of this year. And then the GTX 1160 and 1150 will probably come out at the end of this year, like December or the very beginning of next year, like January to March. Finally, some other cards like the GTX 1180 Ti and 1150 Ti will come out later on in 2019. So back to the main question of the video, should you wait or buy right now? Well, if you're considering to buy the GTX 1080 Ti, well then I guess it really doesn't matter if you wait or buy. I think you should wait a little bit longer and maybe try to get the GTX 1080 Ti for a little bit under MSRP, but it really doesn't matter because the GTX 1180 is going to offer the same performance at pretty much the same price. And also, you wouldn't have as many options, at least at launch. For example, you wouldn't have like Asus and EVGA and MSI and all those third-party card variants. So really, the only reason that you would not buy the GTX 1080 Ti right now and wait for the GTX 1180 is if you don't really need the performance upgrade right now and you want to be on the newest architecture. But that's pretty much it for the GTX 1080 Ti. So what about lower level cards? Well, if you guys really don't need an upgrade, then I do recommend that you guys wait because the performance upgrade is pretty significant and you're spending the same amount of money anyways. Also. If you're looking at getting the 1060 and are considering waiting for the 1160, then here's something to consider. You may not actually have to wait all the way until the release of the 1160 to get a performance upgrade. When the 1170 and 1180 come out, the 1070 and 1080 will most likely drop in price. This may enable you guys to afford the 1070, which is pretty much the same as the 1160. So that may be something to consider as well. So that's pretty much it. If you're considering the GTX 1080 Ti and you might want to wait for the 1180, then really the only reason to wait is if you want to be on the newest architecture. For lower level cards, I definitely recommend you guys wait if you don't need an upgrade, but it's really not that big of a deal. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's worth waiting for the GTX 1180? Also, what do you think AMD has in store with AMD Navi? Do you think it's worth waiting for that? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until next time, bye.